Okay then, so now we have this grid system set up to display our individual notes. And at the minute, our notes are just being output in this paper component, and it looks like this on the screen. Now this paper component is all right, but I'd like to make something that looks a little bit nicer. And to do that, we're gonna learn about the card components in Material UI. But before we do that, I'd like to place all of that card code in a separate component, not inside this one, because I don't want this one to get too messy. So I'm going to create a new folder inside source, and this is going to be called components. The reason I'm not putting it inside pages is because this component is not going to be a page. It's going to be an individual note card, and then we're going to import that into this notes page. So let's create a new file called notecard.js, and inside that, I'm just going to boilerplate a React component. So this is called note card right here. And at the minute, it's just returning an empty div. But let's just say note right here so we know what it is. And then inside notes, I'm going to import that. So at the top, we'll import note card from and then out of the current directory, which is the pages folder into components. And then we want the note card. And now instead of outputting the paper, I'm going to output a note card. So if I save this, we should see the text note about four times. Yep, we do. One, two, three, four. Cool. Now, instead of outputting note, I want to output the note title or some details about the note at least. So I'm going to pass through a prop into this and that prop is going to be called note and it's going to be equal to the note we have access to inside this map function. So now we can accept that inside this function. So we can destructure the note prop from the props object we get automatically in here and we can output that right here. So I'm going to say note dot title like so and we should see the note title. Awesome. We do. OK, so that's that component created. But now we need to flesh this out and work with the note component or rather, sorry, the card component from Material UI. Now, there's a bucket load of ways that we can use the card in Material UI, and it offers us loads of customization. So let's just scroll down and have a look at a few examples. The first one is a simple card with just a bit of text styled differently and a button at the bottom. If we scroll down a little bit more, this is an outlined card, so it just has a border around the edge, whereas this one has a drop shadow. This is a more complex one. It has an avatar, some title stuff. This button up here, we have this picture, some text, icons at the bottom, and even a drop down right here as well. So this is pretty nice, this card. It would be good for a recipe kind of website. If we scroll down further, we can have a more simplistic card with an image and some buttons at the bottom. Now, we're going to make basically a variation of this one, but without as many elements. So we're not going to have this image. We are going to have this avatar, these titles, an icon up here. We're going to have some text as well, but we're not going to have the bottom bit down here either. But let's just open up the code for this and see how it's made. Now, at first glance, it's probably going to look a little bit complex, all of this stuff right here, but ours is going to be a little more simple. Now, to begin with, you can see we have this card component right here that wraps all of the content inside the card. That's the base component. Then we have the card header and the card header includes a prop for the avatar. That's this thing on the left over here. Also, it has an action. That's the button in the top right. And it also has a title and a subheader. And that's these two things right here. So we're going to have all of that later on. Now down here, this is the card media for the image. We're not going to have that, but then we will have the card content and this is going to be for the typography and then the card actions at the bottom. We're not going to have. So our card is actually going to be pretty simple to put together. So let us now, first of all, see what we have to import over here. So we need the card and we need the card header and the card content. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste all of these, including the card media, because then I'll just delete that in a second. So let me paste all those there and let me get rid of card media. And now we can start to flesh out this card. So first of all, let me delete this stuff right here. In fact, we'll keep the div, but we'll get rid of the note title and then we'll have a card component like so. Now then, inside here, the first thing we need is a card header. So let's create that. 
And remember, the card header takes in a load of props. And in fact, we don't need a closing tag. We just need one. And then all of the content inside the card header is driven by the props. So if we go back over here and take a look at this, all of this at the top, this is the card header. We have an avatar, some titles and a subtitle, and then this action on the right, which is an icon. So we're going to do these things at the top, but we're going to leave the avatar for now. Let's start with the action, which is, oops, let me scroll back down, this thing over here. Now, let me take a look how they've done that in the code. If we scroll down, we can see the action right here is an icon button. So an icon button is basically a type of button that is just for an icon. So what I'm going to do is just copy this and I'm going to paste it inside an action prop inside the card header. So it will say action is equal to and then inside this, paste in this icon button. Now then, I'm going to get rid of this ARIA label because it's not for settings. And then I want to import the icon button as well. Now to do that, I'm just going to delete the end, press the end, and then click on this to import it. And we can see it imported right there. Now I also want to use a different icon. The icon I want to use is a delete icon. So I'm going to say delete outlined, click on that, and it's going to import that for me as well. Awesome. So now we have this action sorted. And if we save this and preview over here, let me go back to our web page and refresh. We can see now we have these three cards and each one of them has a delete icon. All right then. So now let's do the title and the subheader. So the title prop, and we're going to set that equal to the note dot title that we take in right here. And then also we want the subheader which is the text below that, and it's going to be the notes dot category this time. So if we save this and preview, we can see now the title at the top and the category underneath. And already this is looking a bit better. Now, before we go any further, I just want to return to the grid system because I want a bit of space between each of these items. Now to do that in our grid, all we have to do is come to the grid container right here and add in a spacing prop. And we set that equal to a number. I'm going to say three, for example. And what this does is take the base spacing value, which I think is eight pixels in material UI and times it by three. So it should be 24 pixels in between each card. Cool. So that looks a bit better. OK, so now we have the header sorted over here. Let's also output the details and that's going to be inside the card content. So below the card header, let's now do card content. And then inside this, we need typography. So I'm going to say typography, click on that to auto import it up here. And then inside the typography components, I'm going to say notes dot details like so. And if I click save now, we can see all of the details down below. Now, I just want to change the type of text right here. So first of all, I'm going to say variant is equal to body two. And that should make it, I think, a bit smaller. Let me save it and find out. Yep, goes a bit smaller, which looks nicer. I also want to change the color. So the color is going to be text secondary, and that should be a gray color instead of black. And it looks a little less harsh. OK, so that's looking pretty good. Now, one more thing I want to show you. You can also add an elevation prop to this and set this equal to a number. For example, I could say three and that should make the elevation a bit more on these cards or I could go back down to one. Let me change this to one and the elevation is going to be much less. OK, cool. So now we have those cards being output. I also want to quickly hook up this thing right here so that when we click on one of these, it's going to delete that particular item right here. Now, how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, we need to attach a click event to this icon button. So let me do that. I'm going to say on click and set that equal to some kind of function right here. And to begin with, all I'm going to do is console.log and I'll say delete. And then we'll also output the note.title next to that. So we know what note we want to delete to make sure this is working. So let's open up the console over here and then click on one of these and it says delete and then complete my ninja training. So it's working. Cool. So now we just need to edit the data. And where are we going to do that? Well, we really need to do this inside the other component notes because this is where we have the local data and we need to do two things. We need to actually send a delete request to this 
using JSON server. So it deletes it from this file over here, but we also need to update our local state because even though we send that delete request, we're not updating the local state. So we need to update that to remove the note from this state as well to keep the browser in sync with the data. Does that make sense? Because we then don't make another fetch request to update that data or anything. We're just deleting it, but we're still showing it on the page. So we need to delete it from here as well. What I'm going to do is create a function inside this component to do both of those things. We're going to send a delete request to delete it from this file, but also delete it from our state as well. So let's create this function. I'm going to say const and we'll call it handle delete right here. Set it equal to a function and it's going to take in the ID as an argument of the note that we want to delete. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is make a fetch request. Now, I'm going to set this equal to an async function right here, just so I can use a wait inside this. And I'll say a wait, and it's going to be fetch, like so. And then the endpoint is going to be this thing right here. So let me grab that. But then at the end of it, we also, oops, let me get rid of one set of quotes. At the end of this, we also need to pass in the ID of the thing that we want to delete. Well, we're going to get that as an argument right here. So let me pass in the ID as well. And by the way, we're going to call this function later on from here. All right, and pass in the ID. So this is going to wait until this is complete. And we also need to pass in a second argument to say that the method is a delete request. All right, so it's going to wait until it deletes that note from over here and JSON server will do that for us. It will look for the item with the ID and it will delete it from this file. But then once we've done that, we need to keep our local state in sync with that because we're not deleting it from here and we need to delete it from here in order to see it vanish from this page. So what I'm going to do now is come down here and say const new notes like so and set it equal to notes, which is our current notes dot filter. And what this filter method does is fire a function for each item in our notes state right here. And it's going to evaluate each one. Now, if we return true for that particular note, it's going to keep it in the array. If we return false, it's going to filter it out. And then that new array is going to be stored in new notes. So it doesn't edit this directly. All right, so we fire a function for each note. And then all we want to do is return note.id is not equal to the ID that we get access to right here. So if they're not equal, then this is going to be true and we want to keep that in the array. If they are equal, this is going to be false. And obviously we want to filter that out of the array. So this now is going to contain the new filtered array. And all we need to do is use set notes to set the value of notes equal to new notes. So down here, I'm going to say set notes and pass in new notes like so. All right then, so now we need to pass this function into the notes card right here. So I'll say handle delete is equal to handle delete. So we're passing it in as a prop. And then inside note card, I'm gonna say handle delete over here. And then down here, instead of logging this to the console, I'm gonna say handle delete. And we need to pass in the ID of the note. So note.id. So then it passes this ID into this function over here, which is right here, deletes that from our JSON file, but also updates our local state as well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this is all going to work now. Let me try this out. I'm going to get rid of this one, click on delete, and it goes from here. That's worked. But if we open up db.json, we can see it's also gone from here. So now if we refresh the page, we're not going to see that one anymore. It's deleted it permanently as well. And now we have a card component to work with too. So in the next lesson, I want to kind of step away from these cards a little bit and work on the overall layout. So we're going to add a nav bar at the top, but also a side draw on the left. And to do that, we need a layout component. So we'll create that in the next video.